What's up guys, so today I thought I'd talk to you about something that I use to help learn guitar songs and that's Ultimate Guitar. Now there's obviously a free version, a lot of people use that and there is a pro version which is the one that I own. I bought it on a deal on a while back and I've been using it quite a lot recently. There's a lot of differences between that and the free version and some very beneficial ones I think in my opinion. I'm going to run through a lot of the functions and we'll dive into that shortly. If you haven't joined before, welcome. My name's Luke and this channel is all about my guitar progress. It's all about tips for beginners and it's also about guitar course reviews. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button, notification bell and uh, hit the like. Greatly appreciated. So if you don't know what Ultimate Guitar is, it's a tab and chord based learning system. It's got over 1.1 million songs on there. It's an extremely popular way of learning and I personally use it to help supplement my learning of songs too. The cost of the pro account can vary throughout the year, but often there's deals on. That's one that I got a while back, and this is the current one that they've got at the moment. So let's get into it and have a look. Okay, let's start by having a quick look at the differences between a pro account and just a regular free account. So if we look at a song that I've been learning to start with, Creek by Radiohead, and um, all these versions here that you can see, they've got chords and tab next to them. These are ones that have been user generated. Whereas these two here are only accessible if you have a pro account. So for example, if we just go in and have a look at this, this is a uh, user generated, you'd get access to this if it was uh, you had a free account. So what you get here is obviously showing you the chords, but it shows you, it gives you a strumming pattern as well. Pretty basic, but it shows you what you've got there, and then it gives you a breakdown of the chords that you'll be playing through the song. Now that's what you get in terms of the basic account. But if we were to go back and look at the um, pro versions, now the pro ver you get these two pro version and official. So the pro version is again is a user generated version, but you only get access to that with the pro account. And this here is the official version, which is actually made by the Ultimate Guitar team, professional musicians apparently. So this is the one that I've been learning from, and this is where I'm going to show you how it all kind of works with inside. So let's start by looking at things from the top. So up here, it tells you obviously the tuning, what key you're in, and then it tells you here pro and chords so chords will just do similar to what you just previously seen with the free version and whereas pro will obviously break down the tablature like so and show you all the way through there's a backing track mode and then tone bridge which is basically something that you can import to create different tones with there's an app i believe that you can use if you want to sort of plug your car, uh, guitar straight into like a, an iPad or your phone user, I think it's called an iRig adapter that you can possibly do. But let's start by looking at what this, how this works, and then we'll have a look, a look at the backing track. So first off, if we play this, it starts off with an original speed down here. You press play. get a good idea there of what it's like to play through that with it now you can change the um, speed on that and um, slow it right down so if you're practicing very slowly you can work through that so you can change it back and then if you want to change it back you just click on there it goes back to original but where it's really good is obviously if you use that in conjunction with what is um, a loop section so you can loop a section that you particularly need to work on. So if we said this bit, it does exactly that, loops again. So where you need to sort of um, get really stuck into learning an intricate part of a song, it's perfect for that. In addition to that, as you play along, you can add a metronome. You can hear the tick. So that helps you keep your timing as well. And then on top of that, you can add a fretboard. So you can see where the finger placement is going. Say so you want to shorten and just work on that bar there. I know I've done this a few times recently. 
and you can slow it right down so you get your timing right and keep up in it and when you've nailed it you've also got a function here if you're, you're left-handed so you can flip the virtual fretboard there you can also transpose you can see the result of that now so if we take it at one try that maybe two so you can really mess around that if you want to you can change the pitch let's just go back to the original and so on obviously you can turn on auto score or off along with the countdown just like that we've also got the uh, backing track mode so let's put that on so how that sounds let's just play this section here Turn the metronome off. So you hear the MIDI track, or you can go to backing track mode. Now what you can't do is download those tracks. There may be some clever way that you could do it, but it doesn't allow you to do that for obvious reasons, really. It does have multiple tracks also, so if you look down the side here, you can flip from one to the other. So you say you've got your vocals there, and it brings up the words for you. Um, you can also put on the fuzz or the drive or the different guitars that play through um, the song. So if we jump down. I'll switch them on as you wish. What I love about the Pro Account is it helps you to learn songs all the way through. And the way it does that is it, you can just break down sections and you can just keep looping them and looping them until you can be able to play it correctly. You can slow it right down, speed it up as you get better, move on from that bar, then you can go across two bars and then three bars and four. So for someone who's like a, a late beginner, say, or beginners even, when you're trying to learn a song and it's quite intricate, being able to do that is a great, great function. Obviously, this is no ear training program, but it's very good at getting you used to different techniques and a, the ability to play songs that perhaps you didn't think you could. On top of that, you get a metronome feature, so you hear that constant tick if you need to, to help you keep time, and then you can change from the MIDI to the backing track. So those functions I really enjoy about this tool, and um, I will keep on using it because of those. There are some not so good things with it. I found it quite clunky in terms of moving around the site, but when you're in the actual song, it's absolutely fine. It's quite intuitive and you can see, as I've just shown really. And there's other elements to it. For example, the official or the pro tab aren't always entirely accurate as you might think. So that can be a bit of a letdown, but that's always gonna happen when you've got someone transcribing the music and putting it into tab. So that's a natural thing to happen. What I also found is it doesn't teach tab particularly well. There is like a forum response that the team have put together and you can go there and you can really start to understand tab itself. But there's nothing there to kind of teach you tab. You almost need some like um, breakdowns of tab that slowly introduce you to all the functions and how to play them. That I think would be very beneficial, but it's not quite on there yet. So overall, I think it's a great supplementary learning tool. Even at its maximum price of about 150 a year, I would still buy it. So if you're interested, hopefully this has helped you out, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.